So this is the counting and combinatorics. Um, so this part is introduction of two items, permutation and combinations. Um, I'm going to stick with this, okay? Let's just kind of do an example first. How many five-digit numbers can be made out of one, 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 three, eight? So for example, uh, 11,138 is one. 81,113 is another. But how many different ways can we um, look at numbers out of this? I'll give everyone like 10 seconds before I explain to you how to solve this. This is a, an example. This is an intro to permutation and combination. Now, one way to think about it is uh, you can think about this a little bit differently. A five-digit number looks like this. There are five spots. And for us to make a five-digit number out of these five digits, basically you need to pick two seats for the digit 3 and 8 and then the 111 will fill into the remaining three spaces okay so um, the way we could do it is first we find a spot for 3 and can someone tell me how many spots are there for 3 Yep, five. Uh, the second step is find a spot for eight. How many spots are there? Four. Okay. Um, so therefore, it is kind of five times four equal 20. Um, Now, um, using kind of what we taught in last, last class, this is what we call the multiplication principles. I'm going to repeat this, okay? Um, if a first task has P outcomes and no matter which of the P outcome it, it is, the second task has cute outcomes, then the total outcomes Total number of outcomes is P times Q. Okay. Uh, this no matter which of the P outcome is the most critical part. Uh, because remember in last lecture, we talked about it make a difference. If after, if I, when I ask you this, and then if your answer is, well, it depends what we chose on the first one, then it is a bad ordering. You need to think about how to make your choices at different orders. Uh, now, um, I actually lie a little bit because this has nothing to do with combination or permutation. 
But the reason I say this is the following, and I want you to highlight, capitalize, circle like what I'm writing here. Which is once you learn more formulas. You tend to forget addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Addition is divide into non overlapping part and sum it up. Remember the example about fruit basket in the last lecture? How to make a fruit basket out of like six apples and nine oranges? Subtraction, if counting something is too difficult, counts the opposite. And subtract from the total. Uh, do you remember the kind of six symbol password in a computer with no repeating symbols? So that's an example where counting is really hard. But counting the opposite is a lot easier. The final one, multiplication, is what we just kind of went through, which is kind of pick an order of choices so that there's no depends. Okay, depends here meaning if you pick a digit or when, when you make a choice and then the later on when you say how many choices are there, if your answer is uh, it depends on what we made at the beginning, then think of a different order of making your choices. Okay, uh, I'm going to talk about Permutation and combination, that should be really easy, and then you will uh, we'll break. But this is really important, highlight it, because once we learn no more formula, we tend to forget about the really basic stuff, which is just kind of counting. Okay. Uh, so, combination and permutation uh, is as follows. Uh, think about, we have four people. Uh, represented by D, E, N, O. Okay? And we want to take, we want to choose a two people uh, basketball team. Uh, can someone tell me what's, what are some of the possibilities? We could have uh, D and E, we could have D and N, we could have D and O. Uh, I used your first initial, okay? It could be Daisy, Ella, or Daisy, Naomi, or Daisy and Olivia. Or it could be E and N, D and O, and then N and O. So there are six poss possible two people basketball team. Okay. What about if we want to say uh, three people basketball team? Out of this kind of four people. So we could have Daisy, Ella, Naomi. We could have Daisy, Ella, Olivia. We could have uh, Daisy, 
Naomi and Olivia. Or we could also have Ella, Naomi and Olivia. So there are four. Uh, I want to check really quick. Does it make sense so far? Yes, we'll get to it. Now, um, what if I tell you, however, the first person we pick is the captain. The second one is not a captain, it's a team member. Then, all of a sudden now, these two people team, we could have Daisy as the captain, Ella as the member, or we could have Ella as the captain and Daisy as the member. Okay, the first person is the captain. So all of a sudden, for each of these basketball teams, there are two possibilities. One person is the captain, whereas the other one is not. Now, for the three people team, we have uh, four possible teams. Now, if I also tell you that the, it is a kind of two on two basketball team, so therefore the first one is the captain, the second one is the member, and the third one is reserve, meaning it's not in the starting lineup. So then that means the order of this matter, right? Because in this case, this is the captain, allies on the team, but Naomi is in, is in reserve. Um, then let me ask you, um, how many possibilities are there for out of this kind of three member team? Now you could have DEN, this is the captain, this is the starting lineup, and this is the reserve. Or you can have DNE. You can also have EDN, END. You can also have MDE and NED. So out of this, we could kind of make six possible team formation. Similarly, for this one, you could also make uh, six. Now these six are definitely different from this six because they are not even the same the same people. Similarly, in this one, six, similar this six, similarly this six. Can I get a show of sign so far? So now I'm giving everyone the names on this one. Um, so for this one, we call this kind of two combination or two subset. This one, we call it three combination or three subset. Uh, I'm going to tell you, actually, two subset and three subset is more popular, but you can call both. This one is, I'm going to call it two permutation. And this one, I'm going to call it three permutation. Uh, two combination and two subset of a four... four Let's say of S, where S is the four people. So this is just how I decided to kind of call this. Um, okay, the last two minutes on this. Okay, so everyone remember this example. I'm going to keep referring back to this kind of basketball team example. Again, four people. Two people team, you have six ways. 
four, three people team, you have four different ways. But once if I tell you the order that I call on you matter, the first one is captain, the second one is reserve, all of a sudden for every one of those, the order of those are, became really important as well. Okay. So I'm going to uh, write down two, two simple. The first one is P, uh, this is M, this is R. These two are whole numbers, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are numbers, okay? P and R is the number of R permutation of a set with n elements or items. To think about this is, you could also think about this from the previous example. It is how many ways to choose and how many hours as in a number, many member basketball team from a class of N students. I'm going to emphasize the order is important in this case. So, um, can anyone from your memory, if I do this, then what is the number? How many ways can we choose a three-member team from a class of four students where the order is important? 24. 24. So it's from the previous, remember previous, we have, we have 24 here, we have, I think, 12 here, we have 6 here, we have... Uh, four here. So this one is uh, 24. So another one is called CNR. As you can guess, this is basically the number of R combination or the R subsets of a set S with N elements. Or items. Okay, going back to our basketball team terminology, this is choose an R member basketball team from a class of N students. Now, in this case, order does not matter meaning we are not making any caption etc it's just kind of who is in the team so therefore from our previous what is c of 4 and 2 what is c 4 of 3 so how many ways can we to choose a two-member basketball team out of four students? Eight. Hmm? Eight? Six? Six. 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 It was on the top left of the previous one. What about a uh, um, three-member team? Four. Four? Okay. Yep. Uh, so let's... Before we break, can I get a show of sign so far?